Good day guys, just a quick video on how you can create a bootable Mac OS X Lion 10.7.5 USB installer on a Windows PC. To get started, we'll need to download a bootable Mac OS X 10.7.5 image. Just go to Google, type in Mac OS X 10.7.5 2012 archive. We want to go to the top archive.org link, Mac OS X Lion 10.7.5 2012 Apple. You want to scroll down slightly? And on the right hand side, download the Mac OS X disk image. It is around 4.4 gig. There are other disk images available online, but I wasn't able to get any of them to boot on my late 2006 iMac. Once it's finished downloading, we'll also need a tool that can write the bootable image to a flash drive. Unfortunately, Rufus doesn't support DMG images, so we'll have to use Balina Etcher. Going back to Google, typing in Balina Etcher, go to the top link, balina.io, click on download Etcher, and select the correct image for your computer. For me, it's the top one, Windows. Once both files have finished downloading, we can close off Chrome and open up our downloads folder. We first need to install Balina Etcher. Unfortunately, they have removed the portable versions from their website. Double click on it. You should see the green Balina Etcher logo pop up on the screen while it's installing. And once finished, it'll automatically run the program. From here, we want to insert the flash drive. We'll be writing our Mac OS X Lion image 2. You will need an 8 gig minimum flash drive for this to work since the image itself is 4.4 gig. I'll be using a cheap 8 gig Lexa flash drive. You don't need to format the flash drive beforehand, but do note you will lose all files on it when writing the OS X image. Click flash from file, navigate to your downloads folder, and double click on our Mac OS X install esd.dmg file. You should get a warning mentioning a missing partition table. You can ignore this and simply click continue. Next, click select target and make sure you choose the correct flash drive from the list. For me, it's the Lexar 8 gig flash drive. Once selected, click select one. Double check you have selected the correct flash drive since you will lose all data and click flash. If Windows UAC pops up, click yes to allow. This can take a little while to write depending on the speed of your flash drive and USB ports, but you should get a rough estimate of how long it'll take on the bottom left of Balina Etcher. Once it's finished writing, it'll automatically verify the flash drive. You can skip this step, but it's recommended to let it finish. Once it's finished verifying, it should say flash completed. If there were any errors encountered, they will be mentioned on this screen. You can close off Balina Etcher and safely eject our flash drive. That's all there is to it. To bring up the EFI boot menu on most old Apple computers, if you're using an Apple keyboard, simply hold down the option key, or if you're using a standard Windows keyboard, hold down the alt key while powering on the system. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.